What's going on, everybody? This is Darrell with your Motivation. The moment today, I'm going to talk about keeping it moving, right? And I say that all the time, and I, it's something that I always say, which is links to the second point, but it talks about uh, keep putting one foot in front of the other. That's something that's very, very, very important, but I'm going to backtrack. The first point is don't sit still for too long, as I'm sitting here telling you not to sit still for too long. That's ironic, but you get what I mean, right? Don't You don't want to, you can take a step back, you can take a break, you can you can pause for a minute just to kind of gather yourself and, and, and make sure you're sticking with the plan or come up with the plan, whatever you need to do, but don't sit still for too long. Um, then you don't want grass. There's an old saying my grandma used to say, don't let grass grow over your feet. They mean you're standing in, a, in the same spot for entirely too long. Uh, you want to be able to keep moving, which is the second point. Keep moving your feet. That's one thing. You want to keep moving your feet. And since the playoffs are going on, and even though my team just lost, so shout out to the Texans, but... Uh, what they always tell running backs is to keep moving your feet. Keep high knees, high knees, knees to chest, knees to chest, high knees. Keep moving your feet because the more you move your feet, the further forward you're going to go. So you want to keep moving your feet. You want to make sure you're always moving forward. Uh, even crawling is forward mobility. So a lot of people think think that they should be moving along at a faster pace or they should be going somewhere a whole lot quicker than what they're going. Uh, and all that in actuality, man, crawling is still moving forward. It's just not at the pace you want it to be, but you're still moving. So that's the important part. Now, the last part is you want to link with people who are uh, who are going to inspire you and link with people who are better than you because that inspires the climb. All right, if I get people who, who I feel are a little more intelligent than me, who are or, or who are better skilled than myself, uh, then that's going to inspire me to do better, right? Now, if you reference for for us for a sports people, you if you practice with someone who is better than you, if you're on the freshman team and you work with someone who's on varsity, you're automatically going to get better because you're working with them because the level of competition is a whole lot different. You're here, they're here. So you want to be able to get with people who are going to push you, get with people who are going to going to dig deep and make you uh, bring out the best in yourself so that you can do what it is you need to do and perform at the level you need to perform at. That is important. You want to get with people who are uh, slightly better than you in, in areas where you want to improve. You don't want to be the smartest person in the room because then uh, you're in the wrong room. So you want to get with people who are going to push you, get with people who are going to challenge you, get with people who are going to make you think, get with people who are going to force you to think outside the box. So that is something that's very important. You want to make sure you are always, always putting yourself in a position to win. I haven't told you guys that in a long time, but I'm telling you now, put yourself in a position to win. And how you do that is keep your feet moving. That's important. So this is the road with your motivation in a moment. As always, act in love. Do the right thing because it needs to be done. Y'all take care.